Bow, man, we back at it with another one, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. And make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. We're going to jump straight into it, man. Shout out to Playboy. Playboy is crazy. Playback, man. We ain't we we do no edits, man. We're clean cut, man. Uh, child support is modern day slavery. Crazy fucking title. <laughs> crazy. Guess who's getting their child support check cut off? You. Hey, yo. Your alimony, too. Whoa. I... That is a crazy start to the video. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Just drafted a petition to Congress. That shit was a little cringe, though, right? 19 signatures, 19. baby. But it's gonna grow over time. Yeah, it's gonna grow. It might grow over time if you wait centuries. It might fucking petition to Congress. <laughs> they they out there on ads and media. Men in America are going to sign it. And to Possibly. any woman who wishes to course correct before things get ugly, because things are about to get very, very ugly. Why is she talking like that? May I recommend to you a book? It's a special book because it's blank. Everything a man wants his woman to say during an argument, which is nothing. Hm. My name is Miss Submissive, and I'm not running for office. Why the fuck is she talking I'm just like about that? About to run feminism in the ground. That is the most cringish. Nah, for real. Why is she talking like that? Week. If you didn't make that for second graders, I actually think you should talk to a therapist. There's no reason you need to be on the internet talking to adults like that. It's just weird. It's weird. Now that's the cringiest shit I've seen. Yo, you take pick me to another fucking level. Pick Even men are like, okay, let's. let's nah, for real, that was ass? weird. Like, I think so. She's super dead ass, man. I guess I'm not. I hope that's hey, not wait, actually. You thought she was though. joking? Yeah, I thought this was gonna be like a mm -hmm. psych. People want to know why I want to cancel alimony and She's dead ass. So very simple. It is a form of theft. I will be more than happy to sit down with anyone who is willing to talk to me about this so I can I mean, explain my stance let's on talk to her. She's, how. She sit down with anybody. Playback has to talk to her. I'm, I'm about to say, Playback, talk to, talk to her again. She's too extreme. No. The problem with people like this too is that extreme. they're way too extreme. Let's get them on stream. It's not theft. Alimony, you could argue, maybe. I don't know. But child support is not theft. Like, at, you're also a What's parent the of a child. Alimony? But support. look, like, I'm not saying I agree about? with her. It's, it's not theft. But if someone's taking from something from you and you don't want them to, what is it? It it's... could be responsibility. What? So taxes is theft? Yes. Is taxes theft? Yes. To me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that has. He said to me. When Canada took 54%, that shit was highway robbery. <laughs> Like I had to evacuate. Oh, shit. Yes, 54% of what? Of what? His income? Used and manipulated a lot of yeah, I don't even know. Let me chill. I don't even... I need to get up on my taxes, dads. bro. Um, I think they, is, they be taking... Be my checks be... Sense, but people want my to, checks be... To fight mm, me on could this, be crazy, but that tax be to to getting tight. Okay. If you take away the incentive for people to be apart, a.k.a. alimony and child support, guess what? They won't be apart. They'll stay together. People will think twice. That's true. Before they file for a divorce if they know there's not a payday at the end of it. True. People will think twice before they lay down and have a child with somebody that they're not married to. And this is not just a bull- Man, what? Stop me when she lied, Marcel. That's a fact, though. She's right. People are incentivized to divorce okay. in this country. Yes, All right, guys. Yes. Let, me, let me be the voice of reason here because, Jesus, you're just chatting right now. Most of the time, first of all, alimony in terms of what she's re probably referencing to, to a large- <laughs> Alimony should money, exist. I don't think it should exist either, but she's talking about a That's very finite up. amount of people who pay a large lump sum of alimony. Even when it comes to child support, it's the same way as well. If you, for the people out there who are, let's say hypothetically speaking, the number of people she's talking about who are dumb enough to date and have children with an average man and put that average man on child support and the incentive to have that child is so you... Okay, alimony. Uh... Financial support that a person is ordered by court to give their spouse during a separation or following divorce. Damn. That is robbery. Because if we are no longer together, why am I giving you money? Unless we have a kid. But that's child support. Right? I'm making a video. Sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what child support will be for, so I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused on that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, let's see, let's see what they're talking about. We could be having child support for the next 18 years, or the child support payment and checks 
I like five hundred bucks. Mm. Five seven hundred dollars is not that much at all, bro. Sorry, I just got the shivers. It's not that crazy, bro. Yeah. That's not enough to sit there and believe that there is there is a, a a huge portion of women who are going to get pregnant by men because they can't wait for that seven hundred dollar payday at the end of Some each month. Some bitches need it, bro. It's ridiculous. Yo, or, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say they disconnected from like people that are not making that much money, but it's, it is people out there who need who five hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? That shit could take care of something. But I, I think in this, in the case of like y'all have a child, I think it would be it should be more geared toward the child. So paying child support would probably be like more likely what niggas need. You know what I'm saying? Incentivized. Alimony is just on you trying to. But then again, it's interesting, right? Because okay, let's say not happy wife, happy life. But let's say y'all separate and show they need to move out. If the wife isn't happy or the wife isn't taken care of financially, how will the child be? But then you would think child support. But then, right? Then you would go, why the fuck am I giving, if I'm paying child support, if the money is not necessary? It's going towards the child, but indirectly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, we need to we need to pay rent. We need to keep the water on so that the child can be taken care of. But in, in hindsight, if you paying for those things... The child still may be neglecting personal things like clothes and and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a very interesting thing, bro. I see why they got both now. Now that I'm thinking about, it, I see why they got both. Hmm, that's interesting. A thousand, or even, or even twelve hundred. Back to her original point, though. But wanna... then again, wait, wait. But then I'm getting bugging because if you're getting if you're getting child support. You should still be like I feel like that should be going towards the kid and helping out throughout the house, but at the same time. That should also that should also incentivize you to have a job. You know what I'm saying? So like it helps out, but you still gotta pick up the slack where it left off. Should not exist. On a real note though. Because I, I, oh wait, no, I, no, no, I no, no, agree no, no, no. it should it should exist in a very unique No, it should not. If, because if you know if you told your wife not to work okay. for twenty years okay. and you are in like then y'all divorce. Then where should that be contractually agreed to? On a fucking prenup. If you don't okay, sign a enough, contract, this I'm not getting a marriage without a prenup, but the prenup isn't just to protect me or my financial mm -hmm, assets, mm -hmm. it's also her. If, if I'm expecting her to be taking care of the family, then she's not going to be fucking high and dry if we end up getting divorced. So there's going to be protections so in place in for her. Would you put in there? 100%. Yeah, I don't think, I don't if you know, have a kid like, with a wife, um, I don't think that, I'm not, I don't, No, it's I'm, not I'm, based on a percentage. It's based on something where she could, yeah, really, she'll be okay until she can get back on her bro. feet. No, it's going to be something like, um, I don't know. Like, she's taking, she's taking, she also if y'all didn't, yo, bro, if y'all have kids, obviously it has to be something very good so that it could take care of not only her, but the kid. Because... It's very important to, if the, if the, if the, again, if the woman is not happy, if your, if your ex-wife is not happy, the kid is not going to be happy. If your, if your ex-wife is not to being taken care of, it's going to stress her out, which indeed is going to stress the kid out, bro. So it has to be something in a good ballpark. I'm not saying, if you live in a mansion, I'm not saying she got to live in a mansion, but you can't throw her in a fucking, in on section eight, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, put her in a nice condo or something, make sure shit is taken care of, you feel me? And that's just what it got to be, bro. If you living in a mansion. This is extreme case. Reason, uh, you know what I'm saying? But this is obviously, that's not everybody's situation. It's not even my situation. So what am I talking about? <laughs> I don't want to say it on camera, though, because that's... But, like, it will... Put, it... <laughs> Flex. I don't know. I don't Flex know on them agents? No, 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 no. Flex like, your like, shit. Your Honor! Your Honor! Yeah, I don't know. I actually they have evidence of him December. saying that he was going to give me 10 grand. <laughs> now he's pushing for two. No, it's going to be a lot more than that. But it's, gonna it, but it's gonna be on a yearly. I, yo, bro, if she's my fucking ex-wife, unless she went and fucked the whole football team, nah, if she has care, my man. kids, then she's gonna be fine. The protections are gonna be in that contract. She's gonna be fine. But wait contract. until after you get divorced, not preparing ahead of time and being like, damn, let's see if the courts can take care of me. It's fucking dumb. I think you're a bad planner. I think you're dumb. But that shit should not exist. Alimony is a backup plan for bad planners, bro. But what's it's a, a backup plan to for degree, bad yeah. planners. If you, so what's the difference between... So you're just saying they should just a get in a relationship. A prenup is negotiated ahead of time. I know what I'm saying. You, they, they should just get in a relationship with a man who's willing to sign that over in, in a prenup. Yeah, or I just, alimony is, what is it? Most of the time, the, the arguments they make in al alimony and family court is, um, what's the word? Life quality style? of life. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. Yo, you're, you do not need to maintain your quality Facts. of life when because you're not you're no with me no more. That's what I'm saying, bro. It, it just, it doesn't make sense, bro. It doesn't make sense. And usually, 
usually, bro, it's the wife that gets the divorce on the on the husband, bro. So I feel like, in the in the strange way, sometimes, bro, it's a build up. Like they they going for the bread at this point. They probably for whatever reason they want to go go another route, but they don't want to. They like I feel like if you really wanted a divorce, right? If you really wanted a divorce, yes, you need some money, but they be going for the jugular, my nigga. Like extreme case again, bro. This celebrities, this is not happening on a regular. Kim K. She just walked away with 200000 bro. 200 k a month. It's crazy, bro. The whole... Remember when, a couple years ago when the Dr. Dre shit was going on? She was making some crazy bread. She's no... Lo- like, it, it is... One is since why people to get... To, to, to lean more towards getting a divorce because at the end of the day, they're still walking away with a large lump sum of money. And two, like, why would they get married after that? Because I think once you get married after that, I think... You no longer get paid out on money. If I'm getting paid 200 k a year to, to sit on my ass and do nothing, I know I'm getting this, this is steady money that's coming in. Why the fuck would I get married again? My ex-wife is... Why? Make it make sense, bro. I feel like it's, to a certain degree, it's a come up, bro. You're not with me. I'm. You are not my responsibility beyond, of course, just survival and shit. Yeah. Like you're not gonna be in a mansion, but you're gonna be all right, bro. Yeah. But you're not my responsibility. Yeah, no more. Bro. And most of the time, what was it? Eighty percent of the time, women make bro. the decision. Bro. Yeah. So I mean, you probably made the decision to leave. You're definitely not gonna. What I tell y'all, bro. What I tell y'all, bro. These is on the same type of shit I'm on. See the rest. See the rest of the shit. And at Universal Technical yo bro, yo bro. you don't yo have bro. to explain your passion for cars. Come we on, get son. it. These That's why we're making more than 15 minutes. Where I go, go, it will go. Child support and alimony have to be abolished. Nope. We Thank abolish you. slavery. Slavery Whoa. broke up black Whoa, she's dragging Child it. Child support and alimony breaks up black families, white families, Indian families, Asian families, okay. Hispanic families, and the list goes on. And that is why it has to go. Why do feminists not like me? They don't like me because I published a blank book that's running the numbers up, calling them out. Everything a man wants his woman to say during an argument, and it's blank. <laughs> Yo, nah. In the 1800s, there was Harriet Tubman. Ms. Tubman liberated slaves. Nah, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm going to keep watching, but that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. In the 2020s, there's Miss Submissive. That's me. And I'm going to liberate men. Divorce? No way. It, there's no way. There's no way she there's got that book, no right? No way. That book is crazy. Nah, she did that too. That was tough. Man, that Come was tough. on. I gotta figure it out, Marcel. Come on, nah, nigga. She's, dragging she's just selling books. She knows. Yes, she's that's all she's, she's doing. Books. She's selling books. She's just selling them books, them blank pages. That's actually, hey, man. Is that not a that's scam? A good gag gift. No, it really is. Yeah, that's what that is. That's you what that you is. made a gag gift. And then you're just trying to run the numbers up by saying egregious things on TikTok. Yeah, this is egregious. Just, uh, just miscellaneously saying, that's why I publish this book. Yeah. And it's a bunch of blank pages. Like, come on. Like, I thought that was, I thought she was book chatting with that. Crazy. She's dead eyed. Yo, what kind of actual, what kind of actual, I guess like, you gotta let them know that you. woman to not speak during an argument. Like, you have a problem, never say it. Yeah, What, that's what kind of life is that? What is that? What I guess you want, like you a don't want to, you don't want a girl, you want a fucking puppet, bro. She's, she's still going. You want a puppet, bro. So the audience in which you're probably <laughs> catering to probably would not want to hear you talk either. It's not even submissive at this point. Or not. Against you. You're always sure, nagging and complaining about something. Trying yeah. to tear... I see, what he, I see what AJ's talking about. Yeah, she's definitely... She's definitely... I see what she's going for. It's going to grab the attention, bro, of people, bro. This is egregious activity, bro. Man down for no reason. Lying. Playing the victim. I'm sick of you, and I know the guys are sick of you too. They just can't say it, so I will. All of this feminist stuff is a lie, it's a scam, and I'm literally making it my life mission to bring submissiveness back. It's not okay to scream and yell at men. All of you feminists, can y'all can strength? have that because you're you. miserable, and a lot of you all are mean and you're <laughs> ugly to people, and I don't want to have any parts like of that. I want to be able to live people. my life, and I want to be a wife and a mom. And I know that that makes you all gag, so get ready to gag some more. All you guys do is sit up and complain about men who don't even want you anyway. To me, nah. This is satire. This is definitely satire. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here because this is, this is tough. Yo, man, do me a favor, man. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> we got more coming soon, man. She's bugging out.
Hey man. Uh, oh yeah, shout out to Playback. Word. Give me yo, yo Playback. Pull me up on a live, bro. Niggas got to talk to the chat. I'm gaining the followers. You feel me? Just just hold it down for me. When I get up there, I'm I'm remember this video. Remember this video, man. Word.